Hello friends, welcome to Unity 3D Teacher Tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to see how to use AdForce in Unity 3D. So, to make that, I am just creating one sample environment. So what I have done is I created ground and then the box to apply our add for system. So this is a basic environment I have created. So for every post need to be applied for a game object, the object need to have rigid body. So just add the rigid body for box number two because we are going to apply a force for a box number two. So I will adding rigid body for that so delete it so if we hit play it's nothing happen so let's see how to go this create a C sharp script and then just drag that script to box 2 because we are going to apply add post for box 2 so I have applied to box 2 Open the script. So, what we are going to do is we are going to apply a force for this object when the user click on this box the force need to be applied for this box so to to make this you need to apply your force on void on most dome and then you need to get the rigid body and then apply add force so we are generally going to make the box move so I am using transform forward transform dot forward and then you need to multiply the number of amount of force which you like to apply for other game object different game object will work on different types so depending upon your game object system you are going to apply the force so I am adding 200 so this is enough for my object so let's see how it work hit play and then click on box 2 that's it now you can see the force is applied to your game object so we are going to increase more to make the move very forward I am adding 500 let's see now it play yeah the force is applied very high let me show you detail in, in this video Click on that, the force is applied. So, this is the way you can able to apply add force in Unity. You can also add force mode with them. Force mode dot force. Force mode dot force is a default system. You know you don't need to add them if you like to apply force mode dot force. 
you have acceleration impulsive vector velocity depending upon your game object reaction you can apply it and then if you increase the mouse for a box the force is decrease see I'm making back to one let's see how it works so the mouse is also depending upon the weight of your force the force will be applied to your game object so let's see I switch off the kinematics let's see what is work kinematics is nothing but freeze the game object in the same position the rigid body won't work if you check mark the kinematics if I click it won't do anything if I turn on and then apply a force it will be moved so this is the system of add force in unity you can check it out let's see that's it you can also freeze the depending upon the positions which you like to freeze for example if you like to freeze x y you can do that if you like to freeze every direction it is similar to is kinematic system see nothing won't work you need to uncheck the both kinematics and then the position and rotation so this is this is the add force system in unity 3d thank you thanks for watching and please subscribe us if you think my video is very helpful for you i'll see you in my next video thank you